I'm Meryl, and I'm a hoarder, a saver, a squanderer. I think I do have some collections that are worth things, that, to me anyways. But I also know uh, that I've overdone it a little bit. And now it's overtaking my life. I'm Kevin, I'm Mel's husband. Me and Mel have been married since May 12th, 1990, so that would be 30 years. Some people would say, how can you deal with her? I love her, I really do, and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. In 1997, we bought this home and no sooner did we get it, but my mother had passed away. She brought everything from her mother's house into our house. Her game plan was she's gonna decipher through what she wanted and what she wanted to throw away or give away. It never happened. I have lymphedema and it started to get bad. And before I knew it, you know, I wasn't able to climb stuff anymore. I wasn't able to put things away anymore. I wasn't able to do stuff. I'm Corey Chalmers, an extreme cleaner that specializes in biohazard and hoarding. Any other questions? Nope. All right, well, let's get started. OK. All right. All right. Why is it silly? This is just a stupid little vase. But... but it connects you to your mom, does yeah. it not? And so if this is something that you feel connects you to her, it's OK to keep it. OK, that I'd like to keep it, please. All right, I think that's a good decision. Home sweet home. Oh. Holy moly. Yeah. That's wonderful. Wow. Look at this. I can't even believe it. It's so it's so wonderful. I just more than I expected. inside and instantly this living room that I worked so hard on is completely full again. I just can't believe that she's gone from what we left her with to this mess. This is not how we left it, Meryl. Uh, would you believe me if I told you a little elf did it? Mm, I think I know who that little elf is, but we'll get to that. So what happened to the wood floors that I worked so hard on to expose for you? Well, some are still exposed. Um, we still have the rugs that you cut very, very nicely got for us, and, 
and, and we still have those and they're holding up beautifully. How did it get full again like this? Um, one thing was we had a storage room and we had in it several things that we wanted to save. Then all of a sudden I got a notice saying it was going up to $300 a month. And I was like, what? So I gathered up a gentleman, a local guy, and he helped me clear it out. And where else were we gonna bring it? Right here. Why did you decide to bring stuff that had been in storage for years because home and instantly clutter it back up? What well, about letting it go? Well, I guess I could have, but... You had a fully functional house. You had everything you needed here. You have probably paid thousands of dollars more than whatever the value of anything in there is. I would have hoped you would have said, you know what, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna let that storage unit go because I have everything I, I need at home. I, mean, I guess I could have, I think because cabinets and closets, everything wasn't done. So as I slowly went through boxes and found things that I wanted to save, I couldn't put them right away because those things are still packed to Do the you hills. save too much? That's my question to you. Are you still saving too much? Well, I'm... S Before no, you answer that... If I no, no. that closet, before you answer that, look behind you. Okay. Do you save too much? Yeah, maybe so. No, but... no, no, no. Maybe How can so. you say maybe? What's your plan moving forward? We've had a lot of things happening, and medically, we're not doing well. My husband's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and um, he also needs several surgeries. With me, my legs and feet are getting so bad that I, I can't even get in my car. It is so hard to walk. It feels like I have a rubber tire around both legs. And right now, they're probably about 100 pounds. OK, so with all that you just told me, what is your life goal, plan? We want to move. Our, our goal is to get out of here. If I had a truck pull up right now, and I said, OK, the truck is going to take the 2% that you need for your new life, OK, and then everything else is just going to stay here, and the junk haulers will come get it yeah, all. I Could am. you do that? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, point. yeah I am. My husband is not doing well, and I may be alone, and I don't have any kids. I think about it every night, and, yeah. and I am hurting, too. And I don't know what the future holds. I know. It's hard. It's good to see you stop with the comedy and be real, because you are facing a pretty big crisis here, Meryl. You really are. And I need that comedy to go away, because I need to know that you fully understand the situation that you're in. So it's oh, good I to do. see. I think about it every night. And yeah. <laughs> I take care of the bills, I take care of the dog, I take care of the, I try to cook. I mean, I'm Meryl, you're one unburned. person and you're, you're physically not doing well. Tell me what you want for the future and how this is limiting you. Well, I put, put a lot, a lot of my effort and money into this house and mm -hmm. versus living somewhere with $6,000 what her and me know we can't afford. And $1,400 is a lot better than $6,000. So you owe how much on the house? $128 for the house and the equity line. OK, so and how much is the house worth, you think? Between $360 and $410. You could have $200,000 yep. once this place sells. Right. At $6,000 a month, that would go a long way. So my suggestion is to meet with a financial advisor, let him go through what you're faced with, what you want for your future, what the numbers are, and let him make a plan and help you make a plan. You're almost right back to where you were when we found you. Call me. I will give you my number. Sorry. I can help you I in any way I can, OK? I appreciate that. Of course. Why are you sad again? Tell me what's going on. Be because honest I'm with just, me. I'm, I'm sort of I'm happy because you're on our side and helping us, and I appreciate that so much. Of course much. I am. Because nobody else bothers to help us at all. I want to see you I, succeed. That's why we come and do this. Okay? It's just so scary. Everything, you know, that we hear from the doctors. I'm scared that I'm, I'm going to be alone in a few years. And that's a scary thought. I get it. But this stuff isn't going to help you. I need you to understand that. I None of this is more important than, than time with him, right? It can't be. You're right. Yeah. Come on. Give me my goodbye hugs. <laughs> Uh -huh. Thank you so much. You got it. I love you very much, and I appreciate it. I love you, so don't let me down. <clears throat> you take care of you and her. I'll check in with you, OK? OK, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. I'm going to. I may, I may be able to do it, yes. I'm going to try. That's all I can do is try.